it is the uh, body, madame. It is, how you say, murdered. Thank you. It is indeed. Ooh, I'm quite a body too. It's quite lush. Oh dear. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> yes, uh, it is uh, a, a tray a tad confusing. Uh, you would also, as it appears, have the habit of dropping an object, bending over slowly and picking it up and looking at me over your shoulder. Did I? <laughs> I must mention your moustache looks longer and, and droopier than normal. Uh, Estings, uh, what do you make of all this? Oh, well, I think I've found a clue. Uh, that is not what I would call it. Uh, dear, I think I've also worked out where we are. Uh, me too. Also, I, it is, uh, obviously, it is clear. I really? I really do tell. Ah, uh, uh, I will allow the tradition British and say ladies first. Oh, well, we are in a piece of writing. Hmm, uh, naturally more. Oh, how novel. <laughs> a very witty Estings, but I believe the writing, as you say, that we are in is not by a professional created. Exactly. Considering if you look closely, your friend Hastings is wearing high heels, suspenders and stockings. Good heavens, yes I am. Mm. Uh, Praro did not care to mention it in case you are having a crisis uh, midlife and also I do not judge. Although, Pero, you are aware you are wearing leather underpants, and I'm wearing a bobble hat, Wedlington boots, and a basque with a picture of Bonnie Langford upon it. Oh, it would appear that our written existence is for a very specialised market, uh, a tad, as you would say, kinky. Each to their own, Poirot. I feel rather liberated. Yes, dash it all, I may have a second sherry and do a bit of... Do a little bit of a dance. That oh, look mm. at me. I'm dancing crazy. I'm going to party like it's 1929. Well, that will be the two of the studies you had in the last fortnight, Hastings. Calm yourself. Do not give yourself into desire's base. We are clearly in some sort of fan-made fiction. I agree, but I need more evidence. Oh, does not Benedict Cumberbatch, despotting himself in nothing but a deer stalker on the chaise lounge, not satisfy you? Not from here, but I'm willing to find uh. out. Oh, <laughs> can I join in? Estings! Deceased! We must, how you say, get a grip on each other. Let go! That is not helping! Come on, come on, my dear. These are not French known for being passionate. Um. Well, I am. Um, well, maybe, but, but I am Belgium. But why not uncover the bis biggest mystery of all time? What amateur detectives do on their day off? I have no day off. My little grey cells, they are always active. What about our day trip to Brighton, old boy? Um, it was all part of the uh, investigation. I can't fathom what all that very sweaty dancing at the exclusive gentleman's club for gentlemen had to do with the case. Uh, it was uh, vital to uncover uh, stuff. And things. You're not fooling anyone, you know. Oh, go on, Poirot. Let's have a bit of fun. Praro, he refuses to let it all hang out. If you will beg me uh, leave you uh, now, I shall uh, go uh, home. Uh, bon, uh, au revoir. I wouldn't go through that door. Oh, and why not? Is Bergerac wearing nothing but a cardigan uh, in, in Jersey? Or perhaps the Lovejoy and Jonathan Creek are running up and down the stairs of an ancient... Lighthouse signaling ships in a very unique way, hmm? <laughs> no, that's the door to ITV2, where you and I solve the same crimes over and over whilst elderly viewers gradually fall asleep and miss who did it. Okay, so it is either that or displaying myself in nothing but a moustache and a hat. Mm, bon. Estings, pass the baby oil. Madame Mapple, let me show you how we do it in the Belgium fashion. Oh, la la la. I hope that feels good. That feel good for you? That feel good. Ah. Mr. Power. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Estings, put that down. <laughs> it is evidence. <laughs> oh. Won't stand up in court. <laughs>